What you're about to witness may horrify you, disgust you, terrify you even. So, viewer discretion is advised. If you have any small children in the room, have them look away now. If you have a weak stomach, I advise you don't view past this point. Ah. 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 It's fucking gross. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm the Impressionist, and welcome to another vlog. Now, if you've seen by the uh, the thumbnail, I look nothing like that. I look nothing like that, and I'm not claiming to. Here's the thing, though. I've taken a break from, um, like, the bigger production stuff that I'm doing on the channel right now to kind of do this vlog and talk about some stuff that uh, I want to do. Anybody who's seen me in person, uh, those of you who have seen me, you know, I guess from farther away, know that I am incredibly disgustingly skinny. There are people out there that are worse than me, but, like, check this out. Like, that is terrifying right there. Look at this shit. I've wanted to exercise for a long time, and uh, I've never really liked the idea because of a few things that come with it that I'm not too fond of. I don't like going to gyms because I feel, you know, pressure there, and I feel like, um, I feel some judgment happening. I just don't like working out in public. A lot of people who aren't already fit, they feel more pressure than the people who are already fit, which is dumb. It's like, why are you at the gym if you already look like that? And why are you giving me shit for being at the gym because of the way that I look? I'm trying to improve while you're already looking like fucking Chris Hemsworth, and you're sitting over there laughing at me you know, while, I'm, while I'm doing the, 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 you know, the five pound bench press, you know, and um, basically I want to start a new series and this series is going to be me as a skinny dude starting from square one, complete blank canvas. I am starting from basically skin and bone trying to gain like a shit ton of muscle. I have a like a closet right here that has like two sliding doors and they're the sliding doors both have mirrors on them. Every time I look over there, I see myself and I see my skinny ass body and it just like I'm just like super like I don't know disappointed and uh, I don't like what I what I see. The the object would be to to get to the point where I don't feel that way and I'm actually proud of myself, you know. I don't know exactly when this series is going to necessarily start. I want to start it maybe like um, at the end of the week, because right now I'm kind of experimenting with my body. I already did, I already lifted um, some weights. Uh, I think I, I, I let me actually let me see if I have them around here. I have these two five pound weights here. I was doing it the last two days, and my arms are like they're thrashed. They're like so sore. I can't even extend my arm out all the way without this entire area in here just like cramping up. And I'm so out of shape. That that's why it's happening in the first place, so. And this, this Dr. Pepper here isn't helping at all. I've just been taking in a lot more protein recently. I've been doing some research. Apparently, just stacking up on protein um, isn't that good of an idea. So I have this other stuff that I use. It's called like Super Greens. And uh, basically, it's just like this powder. It's like the one we have is banana flavored. And you just put, you know, take the cup thing, and you fill it up, and you put it in the thing, and then you pour water to it, you stir it. And then you try to do the best you can to get it all, you know, blended in, even though the water doesn't want to absorb it. Uh, you can use juice if you want to, it doesn't matter. The, it's not going to absorb it, um, it's going to clump at the bottom, so what you have to do is, like, sip, like, like take it, like, a few good chugs and then just, like, stir it again. And if you have a problem with texture, um, <laughs> you're probably not going to like this stuff too much because it, the texture is disgusting. It, it's, it's pretty gross. But, um, it, 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 there's stuff out there that's way worse, um, and, and this stuff, um, I don't know, I, I, I don't like banana flavoring, like, artificial banana flavoring, I hate it. I've been drinking a lot more water, I've been working on my eating patterns and my diet and stuff like that, and I've really just been trying to improve, and that's what this whole thing has been about. I have this poster, which is what I'm looking at right now, I have this poster that I put up above my main monitor. I decided to take a, a bit of PMA from, from Mr. Jacksepticeye himself. And uh, I made myself a poster, and it just says Positive Mental Attitude. It's got my logo, it's got his logo, and uh, it's just got a bunch of words just all placed, you know, together. I have Compassion on there twice, like I have this one here, and then I have this one here. I actually, I didn't know that at the time, and then my mom pointed it out, and I was like, oh. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I guess compassion is just really important. But yeah, if you guys want this template, I can always uh, put a link to it uh, in the description or something like that, so you can print it out yourself. This was printed out on cardstock paper, so I suggest you find something similar, because there's a lot of ink that is going to go into this, and um, you're going to need something that will be able to hold up. But yeah, it's just a bunch of different motivational phrases and words and stuff like that to really just kind of remind myself how to feel and, um, you know, how to how to 
see and perceive the world because I'm always worried I'm always stressing about things I'm always stressing about like what people think um, and as an entertainer what people think is kind of important but at the end of the day that you know worrying about that stuff it's just gonna make things harder to do to do you know it just is worrying is bad and you shouldn't do it <laughs> because it slows you down it makes you procrastinate and eventually work slows down to a halt and you don't want that so if you're worrying about a lot of shit I don't know if this is gonna work for you, but um, this this usually works for me. I just I just kind of close my eyes, and I just I just I just like just sit there, you know. Just there's just something so magical about it drowns out all your other thoughts, and it's just like you just focus on that what's that one calming sound. You just take a breath, and you just reflect, and you just you know take that time to to just empty your brain and just kind of like relax. Everything going on up in here is really spastic a lot of the time. Got that from Chris Evans. I just got really inspired recently. I don't know what did it, but I just really wanted to just improve. I just wanted to be a better person because I'm, you know, I'm doing this whole YouTube thing and like I want to make it something that I'm proud of and I want to be somebody I'm proud of. And, you know, Markiplier just recently uploaded a video talking about you know, his legacy and what he wants to leave behind. You know, that's something that I was thinking about myself, and I'm not usually a person who really takes stuff too seriously. Like, if, if I really want to improve, then I kind of have to, so um, it was good for me to think of, in, of it in more, like, a serious note. Look, I don't know how big this channel is going to get. I don't know if it'll grow any anywhere beyond this. I could stay at the amount of subscribers I'm at for the rest of eternity. That is something that... It's a very small probability, but it's in there. It's it it is there is a chance that that could happen, and um, you know I don't know what the future has in store. All I can do is try my best to improve and make life better for me, and by extension other people, the people that I affect and the people that I influence. That's the word I was looking for. I don't want to get to the point in my life where I was wishing that I did more with the earlier parts of my life. I don't want to ever get to that point and then have that realization that I didn't do much. I want to be able to get to that point in my life where I'm just like, I'm sitting around, I'm old, I'm crotchety, I'm thinking, yeah, I really showed those bastards, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's 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 the kind of thing that I, that I want. I want to be able to look back and be proud of myself and be proud of us and um, really know that what I did had purpose and brought people happiness and brought people together. So first thing to work on my own happiness and my own satisfaction is going to be me building my body and I'm going to have a series completely devoted to that idea and uh, that process and uh, I want to keep you guys updated on that because you know if I'm uploading videos about it I'll feel more obligated to you know proceed and to continue so um, yeah, you guys hold me to that. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped some of you. I hope you, some of you got inspired. Maybe you can, you know, push yourself to, to do a little bit more because I'm in those shoes right now. I'm, I, that's me right now. I, I, I'm really not very sure of myself. And people are like, well, no, you should be more sure of yourself. And I'm like, yeah, I should. But I just, I find it difficult, you know, just because, like, I'm not, I'm not a genuinely confident guy. I've always been, like, super humble and I want to improve, and um, that's one of the best ways to improve is to realize that you can and to realize that you, you know, want to. I want to gain this, this form of self-respect, um, you know, from this channel and seeing my accomplishments and seeing what, I, what I've done and what I can do and, and knowing that it's bettered me as a person and, and that I, in keeping that humility, knowing that it was through hard work, uh, I, I, I digress again, but thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, hope you got something out of this, and I will see you guys in the next video. But until then, toodles. That, um, like, the hammer moves very fast, you know, and it's gonna be like, I swear I'm not doing that. Like, like, no joke. It just does its own thing sometimes.